Well, hi everyone, this is Bob the Science Guy, and we're going to continue talking about the AB scales on the slide rule today. First, let's learn a useful trick with the AB scales. Now, one thing that's very useful to know is that the AB scales are exactly like the CD scales, except they're half as long. So we can do everything on the AB scales that we can do on the C scales in the same manner. So, for example, remember, the number that we're doing something to is going to be on the body of the slide and then the thing that we're doing to it will be on the slide itself. So let's go ahead and take an old friend. Let's look at, at 4 and multiply it by 6. We put the cursor on the 4 on the A scale and the index of the B scale right under it. Then all we have to do is come out here to the 6 and with no fuss, no muss, we just read off 24. We also have a real good idea of what the magnitude of that is because if we're at 4 here that's 10, that's 20, that's 24. It's not 2.4 and it's not 240. Now we can do division exactly the same way. Now what we do have to remember though is that we have, let's say we want to divide by 8. Well we can do that but we have to remember which 8 we're dealing with. Are we dealing with that 8 or are we dealing with the 8 out here? Single digit numbers will be on the left side of the AB scale. Double digit numbers will be on the right side. So that is 8, that is 80. So we want to make sure that we're dividing by the right number. So we bring the 8 right underneath, come out to the index, and read our answer. It's 3. So sometimes it's kind of useful to do your standard division and multiplication on the AB scale uh, simply because it helps you with the decimal place a little bit. But let's go ahead and have a look at what they're actually for. You'll notice here that if we come directly under 9 on the AB scale we read down and we see 3. Okay, that's because 3 is the square root of 9. But if we come out here to 9 we get a different answer. We get 9.45 or so. Now why is that? Well, that's 90. 9.45 is going to be the square root of 90 whereas that's 9 and the square root of 9 is 3. So here's the rule. So if we have one digit to the left of the decimal place, we're going to use the left side. If we have two digits to the left of the decimal place, we're going to use the right side. We can actually even expand this a little bit. If we have an odd number of digits, we're going to use the left. And if we have an even number, we're going to use the right. So for example, 9, 128, 57080. These will all get their square roots from the left side of the AB scale. Whereas 22, 4024, and 600217. These will be done on the right side. Now one major problem that you run into is these numbers start getting big and then you start worrying about where are you going to put the decimal place. Well fortunately there's a very useful trick that you can use to solve that. Let me show it to you. Let's look at the square root of an enormous number. 73,581. All right, how would you approach this? Well, first of all, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's an odd number of digits, so it'll be solved on the left side of the AB scale. We need to make this number manageable. So let's start moving the decimal point until we get to a point that we have a number that's between 1 and 100. The trick is on squares that we have to move it two at a time. So let's start off with a decimal point here. We'll move it once to there and get 735.81. Well, that's three decimals. That's three digits. No good. Let's move it another two over to here. 7.3581 is a single digit number. So that is between 1 and 100. So what we'll do on the slide rule is we'll just come right over here and on the AB scale we'll go to 73581 so there's 7 that's about 735 right there and then we're going to read straight down and have a look on the C and D scale what we have and I see 2.66 so the answer is 2.66 now the question is where do we put the decimal place well we had to move this over one, two times. So what we need to do is we need to move it back half that number. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this back one, two. 
So we move it to the left two at a time, we move it back to the right one at a time. So our answer should be 266. Pretty neat trick, isn't it? Now let's look at another number. Let's do a square root that's a little more difficult. Let's take the square root of 0 0.0035. Well, we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to try and get a number between 1 and 100. Now, if we move the decimal 2 that way, we have 0.35. No good. If we move it 2 more over there, we have 35. 35 is a number between 1 and 100. What side of the AB scale would we use? Well, there's two digits there. So we're going to use the right side. So all we do is we come out here to 35 and read straight down, and we've got 5.9. Well, where's the decimal place? All right, well, we had to move it to the right to 4, which means that we have to move it to the left 1, 2. So that's 1, 2. So our answer is going to be 0 0.059. Grab your slide rule or use the online slide rule that's in the description and try this trick out. Try and find some square roots of random numbers. Use the moving of the decimal place to help you find where your decimal place is going to be and then compare it to the results on your calculator. Finding the square root and even the cube root is pretty easy on a slide rule. The hard part is trying to figure out where to put the decimal place. Let's go ahead and just touch on cube roots real quick. Now if we want to find the cube root of 5,272, okay, how would we do that? Well, what we want to do is we want to come up with a number that is between 1 and 1,000. And to do that, we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to move the decimal place. The only difference is, is we have to move it three at a time. So one, two, three. So we're going to find the cube root of 5.272. On the K scale, the extreme left scale is for numbers from 1 to 10. The middle scale is for, one, uh, is for 10 to 100. And the right scale is for 100 to 1,000. So 5.72 is going to be in the extreme left scale. We just go to 5.72. There's 5.7 and we read straight down. We get 1.77 it looks like. Okay, what do we do with the decimal place? Well, we had to move it this way, three. We're gonna to have to move it back that way, one. So the cube root of 5,272 is going to be 17.7. Go ahead and check that on your calculators. And that's all I wanted to cover today. That's how you use the AB scales and the K scales. This is probably the toughest concept to get through your head when it comes to slide rules, so practice with it a lot. This is Bob the Science Guy. Follow me for more. Take care.